Hey guys, this is YB Tech, and we are setting the bias for the Death is in Amps. This is going to be the final setting, the Death is in Amps, because I got the final setup done, the final layout setup done for, for the uh, chassis, and then I got everything ingrained in stone, and uh, so this is going to be the last setting of it. Um, we're looking for a voltage on both amps on the output. 18 volts, since they are supply voltages, uh, changed a little bit to, to come out to 36 volts, um, and then... Uh, current of 330 milliamps and we want the current the 330 milliamps to kind of be solid and not move around a little too much but as you can see it is climbing and becoming to be a little more steady but with this kind of you know class A this kind of topology um, as it gets warmer it draws more current and it can easily go into a, a cascading you know meltdown that way but hopefully that doesn't happen for us um, so let's just get straight into what's happening here. Inside we got the output, which is basically the um, output to the headphone, but right before it hits the uh, transformer, I'm sorry, right before it hits the capacitor and blocks the DC. And then over here, yeah, testing current draw from, when, you know how, you know, if you use the multimeter before you know what I'm doing. And then here's the uh, Death of Zen Amps. The only thing that changed with the Death of, Death of Zen Amps since last time is the um, these capa these transistors right here. Um, they got changed them out, and uh, they're just metal back. I mean, the ones over here are still plastic. I didn't change these out, but they're exactly the same. So there's not there's no real difference. So uh, I also changed some of the output transistors here. You see, they look really nasty right now. That's one thing that probably will change, uh, is that because I just I was swapping a few things to see if it changed something, and it didn't. So I just happened to quickly solder them back on, put them back there, and they don't look amazing, but they work perfectly fine. But you know, they definitely get fixed later. So um yeah, let's uh, since we got so far here, um it's not staying exactly steady at three thirty. It keeps climbing, so that's kind of a concern. But so far, we're doing pretty well. So, this is the amp. You can see I'm wearing some K7XX um, headphones, AKG headphones. And the amp is working like it should. It's working great. Um, as right now, you can see I have a little setup where it's showing the millivolt AC output of the uh, amp. And I know I'm just listening to music to make sure everything's solid and I don't gotta tweak anything. But right now the biases are staying pretty nice and temperature wise, um, we're also pretty good on that. Uh, I think temperature wise though, the, um, I think we're at staying at like 90. They're about the same temperature, nothing, not a big discrepancy there. Um, over here, see the same kind of temperature. Not too bad, honestly. Sam seems to be running a little cooler. Oh, not too bad. Everything is staying cool. Oh, power. See all the power. I wonder how the power resistors are doing, let's see here. Power resistors are about doing the same, honestly. They're not uh, too angry at all. They're just chilling, which is nice. I like that. Everything else is about the same temperature. Nothing's heating up. So, we're doing pretty dang good. All right. I'm really surprised how nice this sounds. Honestly, I built it. I knew how nice it was supposed to sound. But you know, it sounds pretty good. And these aren't even my uh, main pair of headphones. These are the, uh, the K7 XX, are like my side pair. I don't want to call them my mobile pair, but I do use them quite a bit mobily. 
Um, my main pair is the uh, the uh, Auto Technica R70Xs, which I really love. Um, but yes, this thing is powerful as heck. At about half volume, it starts becoming unbearable. I don't think I could ever pass this this even in quiet pieces. And down here is like uncharted territory. Now I can take out my headphones real quick and show you. It goes all the way there, so you probably could hear that in the microphone. But these things go obnoxiously. This thing goes obnoxiously loud. Plenty of power for even running probably more than one headphone off these things, and it sounds pretty good.